Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. So today I'm sharing my outgoing Halloween tag flip swap. And this is hosted by Leanna from It's a Deal here on YouTube. My swap partner is Stephanie Crafts, also on YouTube. And I'm just going to get into it. I created the required six tags. I use my gold leaf pen to tie everything together. So I used it on the little ring that um, I clipped all my tags with. Um, and all of my tags are, you know, I outlined it with the marker. Here I added some lace trim and some tool. And I also created this uh, dangle, this charm. The spider is from the uh, Dollar Tree spider rings and I cut off the backing and attached it to a jewelry pin. And here I'm showing my gems and my pearls. I think I picked up from Walmart. And these little charms, I added a key and a pumpkin charm are from a buddy from a swap, a previous swap. And here's another Dollar Tree spider that I just colored with the gold leaf pen. And um, I added some flat, flat back gems just to give it some sparkle. And I also used some uh, Dollar Tree foam tape to lift and give the tag some dimension. So I also used my Graphic 45 throughout this um, swap, the, all the cutouts and um, extras are from the Graphic 45 Happy Haunting Collection. So all the ephemera that you see are mainly um, cutouts from the 12 by 12 page. And I'm just showing you on the back of the tag, I wrote that what collection I used. And you can see all the little sparkles from the glitter when I painted the tags previously. And here, the second tag, I added some tool behind my cutout. And I thought it was cute. It looked like a skirt. <laughs> um, I also used more of the uh, flat back gems. And there's another Dollar Tree ring that I just cut the backing off and attached directly to the tag. And that tag I did sign with my my name. So the third tag here, this is the spooky Halloween uh, Christmas, oh, not Christmas, <laughs> spooky Halloween tree from um, Target, the Spritz collection. I used more tool. This is purple tool from my stash. And I added the Dollar Tree um, bat confetti to the tool. And there I'm pointing out the tree and the gems. Um, the little cat on the bottom is also from the Dollar Tree confetti this year. And uh, yeah, talking with my fingers there. <laughs> so the back of the third tag, I added a rosette and I used my punch, my border punch again from Martha Stewart. And there's more tool. This is the black tool with the, with the uh, multicolor and then some Halloween ribbon and she can pop it off and use it as she wishes. So the fourth tag, um, I used uh, more tool, but it was the, uh, I guess somebody said it was like champagne gold, the color of the tool. So yeah, I used that behind the little kids and I uh, used one of the cut aparts as a banner. And there again, I'm showing you the glitter I love the glitter, it came out really cute. So the fifth tag, I um, used a shaker kit and it was just the plastic part. And um, I put in a bunch of Dollar Tree confetti and some googly eyes and some sequins that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And there I'm showing my sentiment is just um, lifted with some Dollar Tree foam tape again. So around the shaker, I used pipe cleaners. So I had in my stash, it's some black, and then the second one is just a 
iridescent pipe cleaner. And I attached the bat that came from the Target Spritz collection um, to the end of the pipe cleaner. And so you can like, it, it has movement. <laughs> so I thought that was really cute. Trying to show you all the sequins that I used in there. And there's a moon behind all the confetti and sequins. I thought it was cute. And then the last tag, I used some border strips to make a um, tuck spot. And there you see the shaker. I made a pumpkin shaker. I added one of the cutouts to the top of it. And then I beaded some, str um, I strung some beads <laughs> onto the pumpkin and it just says boo. So here I use some green confetti and some green sequins and I threw in some gold and brown beads, micro beads to give it that shake and movement. And I also added some of that new Dollar Tree tube confetti and I love it. It, it I don't know, it just it's so different in there. So yeah, so that is it for my tag flip. And I hope my swap buddy loves it. So now it's time to wrap it up. And I just used some tissue paper with some sparkly on it. And I used one of the cut aparts and took my gold marker, went around the edges with it. And I wrote tags right on the right onto the cutout. And um, using some of my purple tool tie a simple bow and keep it nice and neat um, yeah I didn't want to use tape on top so she can undo the bow she can see real clearly that this is the tags package she doesn't have to guess so now this is the package with the goodies I'd already wrapped it up and I forgot to record it so I'm undoing it and there's you, you see the tag I did the same thing wrote goodies on there and this is the stuffed envelope that I created in a previous video and I'm sharing you what I put into the envelope um, this one I had a bag of bows and I'm showing you with the split there I created some bows and some rosettes and that's what's in that little baggie and here's a bat that I created, same same thing as the pumpkin. Um, pretty much the same thing, added some pumpkins into this bat. <laughs> some googly eyes, some gold confetti, or not confetti, sequins. And I strung some beads also. Outlined the whole thing with some gold. And then they had this page, a uh, 12 by 12 page with like little cut apart, cut apart pages. So I cut them all apart, used some hot glue, and binded them. I just used hot glue on the very edge of the stack so that it could open up as a book. And that was it. And then I outlined the whole thing with my gold marker again. I put some spider webs from uh, Dollar Tree onto the cover, and I layered another piece on top so it was lifted. So she has a little book style thing but she could pull it apart and use it and here I made a somewhat lollipop style um, goodies for her it's a little container from Dollar Tree and I just attached all of this around the lid but she could still open it and I've added the straw just so I could tuck it into my envelope and there I was showing you some ribbon that I also added and it's the same ribbon I used in the collection now here's another Dollar Tree skeleton, and I just added um, some felt um, ephemera onto the skeleton. It was the hat, the bat wings, and the boots, the witch's boots. And I added some hot glue on the back of the neck to make it like stronger. So that is a curtain or a drapery hanger, and I just took it off of the wooden circle and attached it to the skull which is also from Dollar Tree and um, I added some tool around it and gave it a little bow on top of its head so it's a little girl <laughs> I also added some gems into the eye sockets 
and it looks so cute. I wanted to add it to the tag flip, but it was just too bulky. And so here I have um, a package of handmade pinwheels, and I'm shaking it because they're shakers. I filled the straws with beads and sealed it in the bottom with the um, uh, with another bead, larger. And I think two of them have like the flat back gems. And this is just a sheet of uh, adhesive diamond from Dollar Tree. And I just took a doily also from Dollar Tree and used it as my bag topper. And you can see in the back, I just folded the hanger down. And um, I used some of the cut aparts. And I wrote bling <laughs> on the label. I added some Walmart um, table scatters, but I did color them with the gold marker because it used to be silver. I was like, you know, everything is gold, so I might as well color it gold. And this was one of the larger cut aparts from the Graphic 45 collection, and I just highlighted them also with the gold marker and stuck it to the back of the envelope. So when everything is out, she still has something pretty to look at. And I'm just putting everything back into the envelope and trying to get it to all fit in there secure. And now, it's just a matter of putting everything back the way it was. All right, so now we're just going to take the envelope and wrap it right back the way it was. Um, no tape. I'm going to just secure everything down, make sure I don't bend anything. And I'm using the same tissue paper. And, um, okay, I did use tape. <laughs> and there you have it. And I'm just gonna share with you my card I made for her. I used a ready-made card and I added some purple tulle on top because you can see that the card is peach. So the purple kind of toned down that peach and it looks cute. Um, I just secured it behind the cut apart with some hot glue. And that's another cutout from the collection and I highlighted it with gold, wrote our little note in there and then stuffed it into its envelope and ready to go. I hope she likes this. Um, I had so much fun creating this swap. Um, I guess, uh, that's it guys Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to check out Leanna's channel at it's a deal and Stephanie at Stephanie crafts here on YouTube Thanks guys. See you on the next video